Ladies and gentlemen, the Newton Nomadic Theater presents Story Slam. starts actually we are not a long way from home um, when our kids were little we would go to France for the summer and um, spend the whole summer there with the rest of my other family so one year we have, have to connect in New York so we did our first leg of the trip and we're actually in Newark waiting for the plane who's that's late and it was a long time before 9-11. You had tables and foods and people kind of talked to each other. And so there's, we're sitting at a table with our three kids, another family is sitting at the table too, and we're talking, and they say something about a visa. And Joe and I, my husband, looked at each other and went, oops, <laughs> we forgot about the visa. Well, our kids are, have French. So they have French passport, they don't need a visa. I have double nationality, dual nationalities, I don't need a visa either, but Joe does. <laughs> so this is a family trip and Joe's got a limited time of vacation, he's got coverage for his patients, but it's, he can't really say, oh okay, I'll stay in Boston and come and see you next month, no. So what are we gonna do? Then one of us has a bright idea and says, I know what we're gonna do. Um, let's put all the French, all the French passports, uh, the way it works is that you would, one person would go up the line and go to the counter and the guys will say, okay, where are you going? Oh yeah, okay, next. Uh. So um, we decided to put the French passports on the top <laughs> and Joe's on the bottom. <laughs> And, and we had, at that time, we had a 15-year-old, big brown eyes, gorgeous. And so she comes to the counter, <laughs> and, and so the guy starts going the first passport, second passport, third passport. So Joe goes, Simone, say something. So she says, excuse me, what's the movie on the flight tonight? <laughs> because in those days there was one movie and it was really important to know which one it was. So the guy says, hmm, I'm not sure. Let me check out. So he turns around, asks, gets the answer and says to Simone who's sitting there with her big eyes, <laughs> it's gonna be whatever. Oh, she says, oh great, I love that movie. He says, good. That's it, here you go, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> so then, then we get on that T TWA flight, we get to Paris. Well, in Paris, it's a little different. They are stickler for rules. And I, Joe and I go together and they say, hmm, he doesn't have a visa. All right, sir, you come with me. Actually, they don't even say sir, they say, you come with me. <laughs> and so I'm left with three kids. One of them is 15, the other one's 13, the other one is nine, eight maybe. And we wait and we wait. And we don't know where Joe is, we just wait. The kids start crying and we wait. And then finally one official comes to me and says, come, come, and come, come. So the three kids come also and he says, look, obviously your husband should have had a visa but you're a French citizen and I could see you look like a nice family. Um, Tell you what we'll do. We would let we will let all of you go, but he has to go and register in um, not a consulate, not even that, just the main city, and say where he is and check in. So we look at each other and say, "Oh yeah, sure, we'll do that, of course." What the official official did know is that we were actually driving to the Alps. And then in the Alps, we were go to a tiny little village, you know, and you have to go to this, through this road that goes up and down and up and down and, down and switch gear all the time as you go up. And then once there, I was, we were gonna meet one of my sisters, her kids, 
and we were going to do some hiking. But we were not in a touristy place. We're far away from any main city. And to go back, for Joe to go to a main city register, he would have to go down, take the whole, t the whole street road again, take a train, and register. And we said, at this point, we are a long way from home. And we said, what could happen? What is he going to do, chase us <laughs> all the way up there on the trail? There is nobody, no official. You can't, you can't even step into Switzerland. You don't even know you're in Switzerland. There's nobody there. So we decided to leave things alone. And eventually, we made it all back. And we're all not a long way from home anymore. Yeah. <laughs>